It makes me laugh all season. As soon as I got a Twitter, right, and we're playing, and Dak looks like hot shit. Looks like trash. Looks like what he's been for quite some time. Look, I have backed Dak Prescott for years. Back in the Carson Wentz days. I have. I did. Defended him tooth and nail because guess what? I figured even though he has some flaws to his game, maybe at some point they will be able to be fixed and we will have ourselves a top quarterback. Boy, was I wrong. It seems like as the years go on, Dak gets worse and worse. He regresses. And if you point that out, you are a hater. You aren't a real cowboy fan. As some people would like to tell me that I'm not a real cowboy fan because I'm not all it's not all sunshine and rainbows for me when it comes to the fucking cowboys it's not I'm not over here living in fucking la la land thinking that cowboys are something they're not I know Dak Prescott is trash he is god awful if yesterday wasn't an inclination of how bad he is, and I'm tired of seeing people on Twitter saying he had a bad game. No, he's had a bad career. Look, I thought Dak was past this, but apparently not. Dak is a game manager. Dak is the bus driver to this shit show that we got going on. And yes, it's not completely his fault. We have a fucking incompetent offensive coordinator in Kellen Moore who can't draw shit up that fits around Dak's skill set. Dak is not a quarterback that will sit in the pocket and throw you the ball. He can do it from time to time, but he is not one that is going to be sitting there. And he's not a Tom Brady. He's not a Josh Allen. He's not a Joe Burrow. Okay, he's none of those things. An Aaron Rodgers, he's not even on those dudes level. Look, I'm telling you right now, after what I saw, Joe Burrow is more of an elite quarterback than Dak Prescott will ever be. Josh Allen is an elite quarterback. Dak Prescott is a game manager that needs all the pieces around him and if not he fails fails look at what happened look and, and and i don't i'm not trying to compare anybody but look at what happened yesterday in the first game all i kept hearing all week was tom brady didn't have his weapons tom brady didn't have this tom brady didn't have that and the eagles are going to make it a close game or they're going to win this game they're going to look to an upset Look at what fucking Tom Brady did. That is a GOAT. That is an elite quarterback. And if you had the same situation with Dak, with Cooper being out, with, with Lamb being out, with Zeke being out, because let's face it, Leonard Fournette was gone. Our, our, our top corners who are, aside from Diggs, average at best, are out. If you put Dak in that situation, we are getting our shit pushed in. Now look at the second game with the with the Cowboys. We had Dak Prescott, the offensive line. We had Zeke Elliott, Tony Pollard, Zeke Elliott with the torn PCL, and somehow Pollard has what six snaps the whole fucking game. Again, that falls on the coaching staff. This clock management bullshit, this is fucking kindergarten Madden shit. And somehow Mike McCarthy isn't getting it? I don't understand. I don't understand how we can call vanilla fucking offenses. This is literally Jason Garrett, Scott Linehan, 2.0. 
Kellen Moore can get the fuck out of here for all I care. But you want to know what's fucking cringe worthy? Is you have fucking, fucking beta male faggot ass motherfuckers like this dude right here. Who wants to sit there and tell me that I'm not a real fan when this bitch ass motherfucker's from Canada? And I live in the fucking state of Texas? Fucking three and a half hours away from the stadium? Because I'm sitting here telling it like it is that Dak Prescott is not an elite quarterback? Dak Prescott is a game manager at best and not a very good one. Not a very good one. Look, Cowboy fans, whoever is listening to this, you sit here and you listen to the Law Nations, the Mark Holmes, the Vox Lombardis, these motherfuckers who sit there and want to take your fucking money and pump your head with sunshine and rainbows, right? That's what they want to fucking do. Uh, Cowboys fans, so whatever the fuck his name is, that's all they want to fucking do. Pump your head with fucking bullshit. Tell you you're not a true fan if you don't believe, if you don't have faith. What the fuck does faith having to do have to do with knowing that your team struggles, struggles against good teams? And miss me with this bullshit that we've only lost by 8 points or 10 points or whatever it is against good teams. We struggled against the bad teams. The bad teams teams as well let's face it let's face it we are not going to get anywhere with Dak Prescott we are not going to get anywhere with with uh, Kellen Moore we're not going to get anywhere with Mike McCarthy if Jerry Jones truly wants to win a fucking Super Bowl he will take his head out of his ass let let um, Kellen Moore walk. Keep Dan Quinn as your DC. Get a competent head coach who can control the clock with his clock management skills. And then we can talk about something. We are locked in with Dak. Look, as much as I want to see this motherfucker leave, he can't go anywhere. He can't go anywhere. We are, we are looking at negative $11 million next year for cap space. Dak Prescott is taking up 50, over, over 15% of the cap space next year. Over $34 million. And this is supposed to be our elite quarterback. You know, it's, it fucking drives me nuts. When you can't say bad shit about your quarterback when he is dog shit. But I find it funny that I wake up today and I'm looking at Twitter and there's so much people abandoning Dak. Finally. Finally. You have the Dak dick riders who do not, and I repeat, do not want to show their face on Twitter. I've seen it already. A lot of motherfuckers want to delete their fucking shit because they know that they are fucking retarded and wrong. And I don't give a fuck which cowboy fan sees this because if they feel some type of way about that shit, then the shoe fucking fits. I know I have cowboys. Corner in my corner. I know I have fifth quarter cowboy on my side when it comes to this shit. I have the realest cowboy fans. Nine, Cowboys fan 19, I got the realest motherfuckers on my side because we see the same bullshit and we call it out. We don't sit here and pump motherfucking faggot ass cowboy fans, bitch made motherfuckers. We don't pump their heads with sunshine and rainbows. We keep it real over here. We're not one of these dick riders that if you say something bad, you, we don't call you a true fan. Because that's what happens. You sit here and say something bad about this team, and somehow you're not a true fan. And it is fucking laughable. Fuck these motherfuckers. Fuck these faggot ass cowboy fans that don't know shit. That want to run their fucking mouth and 
quote you stats when your fucking eye test shows you that these mother these fucking players aren't worth the fuck. Dak Prescott's got to go. Mike McCarthy's got to go. Kellen Moore has got to go.